The 1940s exorcism of Ronald Hunkler inspired the 1973 film The Exorcist, but did it really happen? In the 90s, author and investigator Mark Obsasnick started questioning the methods of one of the priests, Father Halloran, who had uh, not really done his due diligence in trying to find other explanations for what was going on. It turns out Father Halloran never actually heard the boy's voice change, and it was suspected that uh, a lot of the Latin that the kid spoke in was actually just repeated from what he had heard the clergyman say. It turns out that many of the important facets to the story were never actually fact-checked. There is no evidence that Father Hughes admitted him to Georgetown University Hospital. There's no evidence that he visited the boy at home, that he performed an exorcism, that he was injured by the boy. Nothing. Even Father Halloran, before his death, said, okay, well, maybe there wasn't anything supernatural going on. Even the kids who Ronald grew up with said, oh, he was a jerk who liked to play pranks and scare people all the time. Ronald spent the rest of his life understandably hiding from his past. He became an engineer at NASA and worked for the agency for over 40 years.